Are you ready to unlock the power of God in your life? Welcome to Hightower Ministries Podcast. I'm your host, Karen Ordeen, and I, along with my husband, Bill, will bring forth prophetic preaching and teaching that will unlock a deeper revelation of God's Word. So get ready for a powerful word that will raise your faith to believe God for more in your life today. Thank you for joining us for Greater Glory. I'm Kara. And I'm Bill. And we're Hightower Ministries. And we have a powerful message for you today that will stir your spirit and cause you your faith to soar. Amen. It's a part one of a two-part message. And we will just uh, really be getting into it this week. Yes. The title of the message is Jabez, the blessing of the Lord. Ooh, hallelujah. Amen. Jabez. Yes. So today we want to talk about a little prayer that rendered a great prize. This message is about what happens when ordinary Christians really decide to reach for an extraordinary life. Come on. Which is exactly the kind of life that God promises us. That's Amen. Right. He sure does. So when you think about it, you know, where where you should, you know, really throw your energy and throw mm-hmm. your passion and your training in life, mm-hmm. you've got to be focused and intentional. That's Amen. Right. Yes. So uh, we want to talk to you, you about this and want you to think about really where do you desire? to be standing with God and where do you desire to be standing in your life five, five years from now. Hmm. And that's what we really want you to think about. Amen. Amen. As we're going into this message, you know, do you want a larger vision for your life? You know, then then you've got to sign up really to be one that does more than what's expected. That's right. And that's, and that principle really is not just for the natural life. But it's also in your spiritual life. Yes. You've got to you've got to sign up with God and say, I'm gonna be that person. Yeah. That's gonna do more. Yes. Kind of an overachiever. Amen. Yeah. So that's what some people call it. That some people do. Mm-hmm. But you know what? It 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 really renders a great blessing in your life. I'd rather be over than under. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. So <laughs> some would call this type of person an overachiever. Yeah. Um, or a finisher, one who pays attention to details mm-hmm. and does that little extra. Patient, maybe patiently applying the finishing touches on, on projects that really mark the project's quality Come on. and give great value to the outcome of the project. Yes. I'm Whatever it may that. be, whether it's for your job or mm-hmm. for God. Yeah. So let's look at the at, at the Bible verse that describes such a one. Mm. It's first uh, Chronicles 4 9. It's it says, Now Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. Ooh, Amen. Come on. Jabez wanted to be more and do more for God. And as we discovered by the end of the verse in, in verse 10, that God granted him his request. That's right. So what exactly did Jabez do to rise above the rest? Why did God answer his prayer? Why was his short mini profile even included in the word of God? Well, the answer is all in the prayer itself mm, that's right amen yes. so jabez's prayer his prayer shines forth god's powerful will for your life yes. it shows us that the father longs to give you so much more than than you may have ever even asked for come on jabez from you know the human natural assumption or reasoning would not have a, a productive future it wouldn't look like he had a pr- very productive future and a, he wouldn't really stand out like moses or david mm-hmm. or any of the of the early christians in the book of acts i mean you would think of him as a, a little guy mm-hmm. uh you know just just somebody, somebody that's really just kind of average, that's right. right? A little guy. Yeah. And, and we find him hiding in one of the least read books in the Bible. It's the first nine chapters of Chronicles. Mm-hmm. And the reason why that is, is that, that it, it, it just basically in that area of the Bible in those nine chapters, it's running down a list of the family tree of the Hebrew tribes. And it's beginning with, it begins with Adam and just proceeds through thousands of years. Yeah. And, uh, and you know, but, but it states right there about 44 names down into the chapter, all of a sudden a story breaks <laughs> through. Yes. Come on. So it says in, uh, first Chronicles four. Verse 9, and Jabez was more honorable than his brethren, and his mother called his name Jabez, saying, because I bear him with sorrow. And Jabez called on the God of Israel, saying, oh, that thou wouldest bless me in 
deed and enlarge my coast and that thine hand might be with me and that thou wouldest keep me from evil, that it may not grieve me. And God granted him that which he requested. Praise God. Ooh, In the next verse, the, the, the roll call of, for the tribe of Judah picks, picks back up as if nothing happened. I mean, it just keeps on going with the different names. And there was, but there was something that was very different about this man that caused the writer to pause and reflect on who he was mm. and his character. Come on. You know, it, it was like the writer was saying, you need to know something about this guy, Jabez. <laughs> he stands head and shoulders above the rest. Yes. What was the secret to the, the endure, enduring that he had, he just really, he, he, he just uh, loved him. You know, he, he stopped for a moment. He paused to talk about him, to mention him and mention his reputation. Amen. Of Jabez. I mean, you could even, you know, search the Bible. Really, if you search the Bible from cover to cover, you're not going to find anything else about Jabez. That's right. You know, but here is the bullet points that we find from this prayer, you know, and about him is it, the bullet points are things started badly for this person. And, and, you know, he's a person that really no one had ever heard of. Mm -hmm. And then Jabez prayed an unusual one sentence prayer. Mm -hmm. And then suddenly everything ended up extraordinarily well for him. Come on. You know, clearly his good outcome is traced to his prayer. And something about Jabez's simple Direct request to God changed his life mm -hmm. and left a permanent mark on the history books of Israel. And it says, oh, that you would bless me indeed and enlarge my territory, that your hand would be with me and that you would keep me from evil. Come on. Come on. You know, at, at first glance, the four requests may strike you as sincere, sensible, even noble but not terribly remarkable mm -mm. yet just under the surface of each request lies a giant uh a, a giant breaker a giant uh, uh you know paradigm it, it, paradigm basically yeah, yeah. Uh, of, of uh, that's going to break through him to a new life right and it and it runs exactly opposite to the way that you and I usually think mm -hmm. and that's what we're going to be talking about just just scratching the surface in this week's message, but we're going to get all the way through it by next week. Yeah. You know, each one of these prayerful requests can release miraculous, uh, really the miraculous in a person's life. That's if right. prayed sincerely and in faith. Yep. And, and we are only speaking of one of these requests this evening. So, you know, uh, so you're going to hang in there for both parts. Amen? That's right. That's right. <laughs> so, so many people are satisfied with just standing at the water's edge yeah. and asking for a cup of water instead of jumping into the river of life that is so true. and allowing the Holy Spirit, come on, mm -hmm. to carry them by his loving currents of grace and power. Hallelujah. Yeah. Being completely led of the Holy Spirit and following by faith will allow allow the Lord. It will allow God to sweep you into the life that he has for you. Hallelujah. Yes. And Jabez asked, oh, that you would bless me indeed. So why not ask for the Lord to bless you? Why not ask the Lord to bless you? Right. That's right. Some would think that asking God to bless them would be really a sign of immaturity, of spiritual immaturity. Some people think that. Yeah. You know, but this is really precisely what he prayed. Come on. The word states that you have not because you ask not. Hmm. Think about all the things that people grumble about and they worry about. But yet, have you asked God to bless you? I mean, have you asked God to take care of it? I know that there's a there's a phrase that my mother can can uh, even if she can tell you tonight on the on the on the meeting because she's in the meeting. I always have said worry is like a rocking chair. It's something to do when you're bored and it gets you nowhere. Come on. If you've got time to worry, you've got time to pray. Hallelujah. And it's time to lay that stuff on the altar yes. and allow the Lord to bring forth the answers. Amen. Come on. Come on, I'm preaching to myself right now yep. as well. You know, so why not ask the Lord to bless us? Yes. Instead of just feeling like this is this is what we've been dealt in our life. Mm -hmm. 
Come on. Come on. Yeah. This this is not a self-centered prayer. It is exactly the kind of prayer our father longs to hear. You know, his story, Jabez's story really began with his name. Mm -hmm. You know, his mother called his name Jabez because she says, because I bore him in pain. Wow. And it literally, the meaning of that is, is he causes or, or will cause pain. Mm -hmm. That doesn't sound like a good start of a promising life, does it? No. No, it doesn't. I mean, all babies, it is very sad. You, all babies usually arrive with a certain amount of pain. Yeah. But something about Jabez's birth mm-hmm. went beyond the, the usual. Mm-hmm. You know, so much so that his mother uh, chose to mo- pretty much memorialize, you know, the, the pain um, it, that, that she had because of her son in his name. In his name, yeah. So, you know, why did she do that? You know, maybe the pregnancy or delivery might have been pretty traumatic or perhaps, you know, he was uh, a stillborn or breach, you know, I've got this about breach, breach, I mean, breach baby. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But only God knows, uh, you know, for sure what caused the pain of, of you know, or the anguish of his mother. But but uh, n- not that it made a difference really to Jabez, Mm-mm. because I'm sure he hated his name. Absolutely. You know, can you just imagine having to go through your childhood, enduring the bullies that of the time, mm-hmm. the daily reminders of your unwelcome arrival, mm-hmm. and the mocking that he had to endure? You know, in Bible times, a name was to tell your story and and what and who you were, who you are. That's right. You know, Jacob meant grabber and and deceiver, and God changed his name when he blessed them. That's right. Right? And, And Solomon meant peace. And sure enough, he was the first king to reign without war amen so d- despite you know jabez's uh dismal prospects in his life jabez found a way yes amen he found a way Come and on. despite your upbringing despite what you have you know that what people have said about you despite the labels that people try to put on you that you're only going to be this you're only going to be average you're never going to be that that achiever despite all that when we ask for god's blessing we're not asking for more of what we can get ourselves. For ourselves. It's really something much more than that. Come on. And you know, Jabez said, oh, that you would bless me indeed. Yes. You know, it, it was said with urgency. Uh-huh. Bless me indeed. You know, in the Hebrew, adding indeed to a prayer was like adding five exclamation points. Come on. Or, or writing it in all caps yeah. and, and underlining it as well. Come on. To bless means to ask for it, it to us uh, or impart supernatural mm-hmm. favor. Mm-hmm. To ask God to impart supernatural favor on you. Mm-hmm. The, the Lord's blessing is our greatest wealth. Yes. All our work adds nothing to Come the on. blessing of the Lord. Yes. Amen. So there, there is a radical trust in God in this prayer blessing. Mm-hmm. And, um, and he left it, Jabez left it entirely up to God to decide what the blessing would be right. and where it would happen and when it would happen and how Jabez would re- would receive them. Yes. These blessings. That's right. He just trusted. And this kind of radical trust in God's good intentions toward us has is nothing, you know, has nothing in common with the popular gospel that you know, that you know that we should be asking for a new Cadillac or, right. or we should be asking for a six figure income or, or some other materialistic sign that you have found a way to cash in on your connection Come with on. God. That's right. Come on. Instead, Jabez, um, you know, the Jabez blessing focuses on our wanting our ourselves, wanting for ourselves, nothing more or nothing less than what God wants for That's us. Right. Yeah. When Moses said to God on Mount Sinai, show me your glory in Exodus 33, 18, he was asking for more, for a more intimate understanding of God. Mm -hmm. And in response, God described himself as the Lord, the Lord God, merciful and gracious, long suffering and abounding in goodness and truth. Come on. Exodus 34, 6. That's right. This is incredible. The very nature of God is to give goodness in so much abundance 
not just a little bit of goodness, mm -hmm. but in much abundance that, that it is so much abundance really that it overflows into unworthy lives. Come on. That's right. So if we think about God in any other way than that, you should change the way you think. That's right. Come on. He alone is worthy. God alone is worthy, right? But it is his nature to bless abundantly. He is the God of more than enough. So why not make it a lifelong commitment to ask him every day to bless you? Yeah. God wants you to ask him to bless Come you. On. God's bounty is limited only by us. Not by his resources or his power <laughs> or his willingness to give us okay. blessing. Jabez was blessed simply because he refused to let any obstacle, any person or anybody's opinion become larger than God's nature. Come on. And God's nature is to bless. Yes. And, you know, in our in our mind's eye, we can picture Jabez standing before a massive gate recessed into the, the, the high sky, the sky high up on a wall. OK, he was weighed down by the sorrow of his past and the darkness of his present. But we see, you know, he, we can see how he would be looking toward his blessing after he asked God to bless him, that he sees before him only impossibilities and things are shut off until God steps in, you know, because he was, he, once he raised his hands, once he asked God to bless him and he cries out, father, oh, father, bless me. And I, you know, and what he's really saying is bless me a lot. Yeah. That's what he's really saying. That's bless right. me indeed. Bless me a lot. And with the, the last word, the transformation begins mm -hmm. and he hears this tremendous crack. I mean, if you can think about it, this crack, this yeah. groan, this rumble as the huge door swings wide open. And that's what God does for us. Yeah. They are stretching on the horizon, our fields of blessings. Mm, and that's what God wants for us. Yeah. And Jabez at that point steps into another life. Yes. And I believe that that's what God is doing for us. Yeah. We're about to step into another life. Yes, come on. I decree that everyone that is connected with High Tower Ministries, God is about to trans transition us all from the old into the new, new dimensions of his anointing, a greater authority, mm -hmm. new connections, new people. Growth in the ministry, growth in our personal lives, fruitfulness everywhere we go, an abundance of favor. Come on. Amen. That's what we decree in yeah. the name of the yeah. Lord Jesus Christ. Absolutely. So let's pray. Let's yeah. pray. Come Amen. On. Seal this word. Lord Father, we just seal mm. this word today, Lord God, that you are bringing us into new dimensions, Lord Father, of your, your anointing, Lord God, that your spirit will flow through all of us in a greater yeah. measure of faith, Lord God. Lord Father, we decree right now, Lord Father, that you are putting favor on your sons and yes, daughters, God. Lord Father, to get us transitioned to where we need to be, yes. Lord Father, to be fruitful, yes. our next place of fruitfulness, Lord God. Lord Father, we lift our hands today and we say, oh, Father, mm. oh, Father, bless us bless indeed. Us. Bless us indeed, Lord God. Bless us very much, Lord, in all areas of our life, Lord Father. Our source is you. We only look to you. We don't look to people. We look to you. Lord Father, we don't look for the things. We look to you. We don't look to circumstances. We look to you. So we bless you. We thank you, Father, that, that this is a new day. And your blessing and your favor is upon us. And we shall see your goodness in the land of the living. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Amen, amen, amen. amen. Well, we thank you for joining us here at High Tower Ministries International for our Greater Glory broadcast. We hope this show has edified and encouraged you in the Lord. Reach out to us and share your comments with us. If you have personal prayer requests, please send them to prayer requests at hightowerministry.org. And connect and register with us on our website and receive a free download at hightowerministry.org. Look us up on YouTube and subscribe. Hit that button. We have broadcasts that go out four times a week right here on Facebook. Look for our greater glory uh, prophetic teaching every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. and 7 p.m. 
and Wednesdays at 7 p.m. And that's all Eastern Standard Time and Testimony Tuesdays, Testimony which is Tuesday. each and every Tuesday uh, at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Right. Don't miss anything. Amen. So we, we thank you for joining us today. And don't forget to share this message with your friends yes. and join us next week for part two. Amen. Amen. So until then, be blessed. Be blessed. Thank you for listening to the High Tower Ministries podcast. Our shows are broadcast each week on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. For more information about this ministry and to acquire our resource materials for spiritual growth, visit our website at www.hightowerministry.org. Look for High Tower Ministries on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Get connected with us. We would love to hear how the Lord is moving through this ministry and how the Word of God is impacting your life. Until next time, be blessed. And please don't forget to rate and review on Apple Podcast and subscribe wherever you listen so you don't miss a show.